of all the aircraft in George W. Bush uh, Air Park here at Moody Air Force Base, I think the F-86 Sabre is probably the most interesting aircraft. The wing that was here at Moody Air Force Base in 1956 received this actual aircraft in 1956. The wing was called the 3550 Pilot Training Wing. They flew this aircraft from 1956 to 1960 when it was retired. The production cost of the F-86 Sabre was $211,111 in 1951 to get to the exact penny. They built over 6,000 of this aircraft, and like I said, it was retired in 1960. This aircraft was the most successful in MiG Alley during uh, the Korean War. It had a 10 to 1 kill ratio in MiG Alley at that time. If you look at the paint scheme, it is painted to resemble the 74th Fighter Squadron. When they flew the F-86 Sabre, the 74th, 75th, and 76th all flew this aircraft, but this one is painted particularly to look like the 74th. You also have the uh, original Flying Tiger patch on the fuselage that shows you how Walt Disney did design it originally with this shield instead of the chevron. This particular aircraft was dedicated to Major Lynn McIntosh, a Valdosta native. He graduated from Valdosta High School, he graduated from Valdosta State University, and then he entered the Air Force and flew C-130 aircraft and was involved with the uh, Iran hostage situation where they were trying to rescue the 52 hostages uh, out of Iran with Desert Claw. His aircraft was refueling helicopters that were going in for the pickup, and there was a little bit of a miscommunication, and one of the helicopters flew into the cockpit of the 130, killing Major Lynn McIntosh. So this aircraft was dedicated in his honor, and it was rededicated again on the day of his death, 33 years later. This aircraft was downtown across from the hospital on Woodrow Wilson. Well, the aircraft sat there for about 10 years, and it fell in disarray. No one was taking care of it and Moody Air Force Base was opening up their air park. So they requested the city of Valdosta if they could take the aircraft, bring it on base, give it some honor and put it on a pedestal so it could be taken care of. The city of Valdosta told them to reach out to uh, Lynn McIntosh's family. They said they would be thrilled and honored. So on a late Saturday, fateful night, the 23rd Civil Engineer Squadron went down, broke the moorings, put the F-86 Sabre on a flatbed trailer at three o'clock in the morning and came down Bemis at 30 miles an hour. I'm sure that was a sight to see an aircraft on a flatbed trailer coming down the road when you had people leaving the bars. But anyway, Len McIntosh is now uh, in our air park. He's an Air Force major, and he is uh, now uh, enshrined in the Moody Air Force Base uh, Air Park. He is also uh, the the post office downtown Valdosta is named in his honor. There is a plaque on the wall and it's called Major Lynn McIntosh Post Office. This aircraft came into production in 47. That was its first flight and it was delivered in 51. 